All right. Uh, the theorist we're going to be talking about this afternoon, uh, Charles Spearman. Um, he is and was an English uh, psychologist who lived from 1863 to 1945, and he is known as the father of classical test theory. Okay, the um, background of Spearman. Um, Anna Laura, could you read the first book, please? Spearman was a student of German philosopher and psychologist Wilhelm Wundt. Wundt? Spearman, can you read the second book, please? He was also influenced by British psychologist Francis Galton. Mm -hmm. uh, Marjorie, can you read the third book, please? Okay. Uh, Kana, can you read the third book, please? He achieved a PhD in experimental psychology from the U University of Leipzig in Germany. Excellent. Thank you. And finally, he published General Intelligence, Objectively Determined and Measured in 1904. Spearman's uh, major contributions. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do for his major contributions is read a bullet, and then I'm going to have you as an entire class repeat after me, okay? So the first bullet is, Spearman was the first systematic psychometrician class. First, First systematic, systematic psychonutrition. Excellent. Next, Spearman was a pioneer of the stati stati statistical <laughs> technique called factor analysis. Class? Pioneer, pioneer of classical, statistical, 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 statistical classical. That's all right. All right, moving on. Uh, Spearman was the first to offer a tenable psychometric definition of intelligence. Class? The first author of the technical psychometric definition of intelligence. Excellent. And finally, and most importantly, he discovered the general factor, or simply the G class. Most, most importantly, he discovered, discovered the general factor, or simply the G. Great. Speaking of his definition of intelligence, uh, can I have a volunteer to read his definition? As regards the delicate matter of estimating intelligence, the guiding principle has been not to make any a priori mm -hmm. assumptions as to what kind of mental activity may be thus termed with greatest propriety. Provisionally, at any rate, the aim was empirically to examine all the various abilities having any prima facie claims to such title, ascertaining their relationships to one another and to other functions. Excellent, thank you. Experiments, ideas, and interests. Now for these, I'm going to uh, go ahead and read the first bullet, and then I'm gonna have you turn to your neighbor, and you're going to teach them what I've just stated. So the first bullet is the G-factor theory follows the idea that all intelligent behavior is derived from one metaphorical pool of energy. Class? Yes. yes. Teach. <laughs> okay. So the G factor theory follows the idea that all intelligent behavior is derived from one metaphorical pool of mental energy. So what would that mean? G is the <laughs> mental energy, so it comes so from one energy in your brain. Yeah. Your intelligence. So I think, and I only. Does that mean like it comes from one place? Is it within one place? Basically, and it's different from well, the theorists that say that there seem to be different kinds of intelligence. Well, I'm asking you. We found that there was the central energy that you could well, have separate. We want to know what that separate. means. <laughs> Within, Within the central energy. G factor theory yeah. follows the idea that all intelligent behavior is derived from one metaphorical pool of mental energy. Meaning that. One metaphorical pool in your own head? In, your own, in the brain. That's okay. right. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Welcome. Good question. <laughs> All set? So now, does that mean is your interpretation then that there's just one part of the brain and that's where all the intelligence is? According to the experiment. <laughs> Alright, bullet number two. Through an in, in, through an extended formula. Spearman was able to demonstrate that a common source of variance accounted for the correlations among all mental tests. Class? Yes. yes. Teach. 
Okay. Um, so to demonstrate that a common source of variance is accounting for all the correlations among all the tests. So basically you could test the G by one variance test. So by one test you could test the variance G. Cool. Just like standardized tests. I don't know, I'm guessing. Those were the essentials of theorist Charles Spreeman. Thank you.